This is the Canon 600D. This is the camera that I record most of my videos with. And one of the problems I have when I'm recording videos is that the battery runs out before I finished. And that's a real pain because I have to take it off the tripod, swap the battery, put this one on charge. Hopefully I've got another battery that's charged up and ready to use. Taking it off the tripod means that the camera gets moved a bit, which ruins the jump cuts, and I have to refocus. It takes a lot of time. One solution to this is a battery grip, and that's what's in here, so let's open this up. So basically, a battery grip, it lets you have two batteries in the camera at once. Here it is, battery grip for CAN 550D slash T2i and the 600D, also known as the T3i. Um, never disassemble the product, never dispose of fire, I should have thought these were going to be features, these are just warnings. <laughs> never short circuit, keep away from children and keep in dry, keep in dry and cool. Not dry and cool place, just in dry and cool, dry and cool itself. And on the back it just said battery grip in a few different languages I assume. Okay, awful packaging. Oh here, here are the features, I was looking at the wrong side. Cartridge style with multiple function. Vertical shooting more comfortable. Same hold feeling as original grip. Use six AA or two lithium batteries. So, pretty bad packaging and pretty bad English. It doesn't give you high hopes for the product, does it? Uh, this is obviously not an official one. I wouldn't recommend buying official DSLR accessories from Canon or whoever because they're just overpriced. This cost me £35 and I think that's cheaper than like one official battery from Canon. And this comes with two batteries and the grip. Uh, you can also get this if you're willing to get it shipped from China. For a couple of pounds more you can get uh, two batteries, the battery grip and remote control which is worth £8 by itself. And if you bought official accessories instead of all of this, you'd be spending hundreds. So this was from eBay, I think it's originally come from China, but the seller was in this country, uh, which meant I could get it shipped to me quickly. Oh, what's this strange sachet in here? Maybe I can eat this. Oh no, throw away, do not eat. Isn't it good that they put that warning on? I might have eaten that otherwise. And the battery grip itself. Um, okay, I'll come back to that in a second. We have another little adapter here. I'll talk about that in just a moment as well, after we've had a look at the the little instructions for the professional vertical battery grip. Uh, so we have loads more warnings. Uh, thank you for choosing this professional vertical battery grip. So, how does this work? This bit goes into the, the battery slot on the camera. So if I open this up, usually you'd stick your battery in the bottom, like this, and you can only get one in there, and it's on the bottom so you have to take it off the tripod. With this, we stick this in there, and then put two batteries in here, and it gives us some buttons on the bottom which allow us to to shoot vertically, that's why it's calling itself a vertical battery grip. Horizontal, vertical. If you hold it like this, no buttons to press, you have to stretch over here. When this is on, the buttons are there. The shutter button is where you'd expect it to be. So it's a nice little feature, um, but I want it for the, the double battery capacity. And if you happen to be in a situation where all of your lithium batteries are flat, but you happen to have loads of AA batteries, I don't know when anybody is in such a situation. But it comes with an adapter to let you power the DSLR, the, the 600D or whatever, with, bat with normal batteries, AA's. Uh, I can't imagine it would last very long at all with those, so I'm probably never going to try that. So, attaching to the camera. Turn off the camera, ensure the control lock on the grip is in the off position. Um, <laughs> which is in the on position by default. Open the camera's battery chamber and remove the battery from the compartment. Detach the cover in 35 angles carefully. What? Number three, detach the chamber cover in 35 angles carefully. That's literally what it says. So this is the, this is the chamber, apparently. And obviously this is the cover. And I have to detach it in 35 angles. So, but yeah, you basically need to take this off for this to be able to fit on. Um, what? How do you take this off? It's just got a picture of this thing open with an arrow pointing away from it. Oh, there we go. It's easy. It just pops out. <laughs> In 35 angles. <laughs> To prevent loss, insert the battery chamber cover into the camera battery chamber cover storage slot. Um, this bit? Oh, that's convenient. Insert the grip's electrical contacts uh, this way. 
So it has a little screw which goes into the, the tripod thing on the bottom of the camera. And then we just turn this. It says if there's some space left, reattach it. I mean, there's a tiny little gap you can see in various places. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits well enough. The material on it is meant to match the material on the camera. It is similar. It's not identical. It's more rubbery than the the actual camera's grippy material, which is not a bad thing actually because it actually increases the friction. It's not as smooth and slippy as as the the Canon. It doesn't match, but it improves it. Like I said, you can now hold it this way. It's really easy to hold it that way. If you try, if you take a DSLR and hold it sideways normally, there's nothing to grip. You just you kind of like hold it like a brick. This makes it possible to hold it. That feels really natural. Uh, so that's great. You can still attach this to a tripod. There's a thread on the bottom just as you'd have on the bottom of the camera. And most importantly, it takes two batteries. So it has a lock on it, which we turn, and then this comes out. I wonder if the ones they supply are charged. They come with an owner's manual squashed in. Thank you very much for selecting this battery pack. The battery's stuck in its little case. What am I doing wrong? All the instructions are in Chinese. Ah, oh. There we go. So replace this one in as well. Slide it back into the camera. So now we can turn it on. And turn the camera on. Lens cap off so you can see the screen is on there in movie mode. It says we have a fully charged battery connected, which is good. Uh, and then we can turn it this way. The, the shutter button works. You can hear it try to focus when I press it. Um, we also get the zoom buttons. We get the little wheel which adjusts various parameters, uh, the same as the one on the top. And we get the, the AV plus minus button down here as well. The last thing it does for the camera is makes it heavier. Now that sounds like a bad thing, but DSLRs are really light, and if you're trying to do video with them, you can end up with shaky footage, so more weight is often a good thing. So if you want to double the battery life of your DSLR, or you want to add some weight to reduce the shakiness of video footage, or you want to be able to hold it sideways and take photos easy like that, then I would definitely recommend buying a battery grip, and I would definitely recommend buying a fake one instead of an official one. Thanks for watching. As surely somebody sat and read my email and, and looked at this channel and saw that they had 2,000 copyrighted videos, it's obvious that